everybody Donna here at Diamond Art Joy welcome back to my channel hey today I want to show you my finish for um, diamond painting with friends the uh, September event called change of seasons hosted by Wendy over at diamonds and stuff this was a, a wonderful event um, lots of fun lots of participation and um, even a lot of people did multiple canvases, so um, it was uh, a joy to, uh, to do this. Now this canvas here, um, I showed you it earlier on when I, when I opened it up. This is called The Spiral by Ivy Dolomore. I purchased it at Diamond Art Club and um, it is, oh my gosh, Let's see, it is a 55.8 by 78.7 centimeter canvas. It has 45 colors. We had three ABs, that's Aurora Borealis. And I did not add anything extra um, on this canvas. Look at her face, isn't it gorgeous? I just love this witch. And her hat's just full of all kinds of business here. Look at that. All this stuff growing on her hat. <laughs> this was so fun, um, except for the drills. Um, and I will talk about that in a minute. Um, this is a square, and everything was fitting in here pretty tight, which is nice. There's not a lot of gapping at all. That's awesome. Um, a big plus. And uh, let me show you the rest of it here her hair looks so pretty there are some ab's over here aurora borealis over in here Let's see if i can get my pin out here yeah and then these little um celestial signs here those are ab's here this white that white and right here also the sparkle in her eyes that's the um, Aurora Borealis. Additionally, we have the, the more signs over here. And then, let's see. Some of this green here in the bushes and stuff, they are um, fairy, oh no, they're, uh, wait a minute now, I didn't tell you right. Yes, I do have one fairy dust. And that's in the green here. Yeah, this, this light green, which is pretty. Here's some more Aurora Borealis here. Over in here in the uh, foliage of the, the tree here, the orange. Let me pull it down some more. Up in here. And over here. I have to clean it up a little bit more. Yeah, and then this green here. So, yeah, I mean, I could have, I should have and could have done a little bit more bling, I suppose. So we're working on the bling, y'all, and the popping drills. <laughs> but I do love how she turned out. Um, her eye is everything. Um, I could have made this probably a little more sparkly. But I love it. I love it the way it is, and I enjoyed the event. Now... This is a square, I told you. This is the first time I have ever had so many bad drills. I mean, okay, here's all my trash. That's a lot. I want a, you to pay attention to ones like this right here. Let's see if I can show you. This one right here. Can you see that one? See how slanted it is? Focus, focus. That one right there, that orange one. I had a lot of those, a lot of those slanted ones, especially in the darker colors. I mean, if I, and then I had blues and stuff in here. I don't know where they came from. Um, yeah, I had a lot of those slanted ones, a lot of tabbing. But the slanted ones, even though they didn't have tabs, you can't use those on a square, you know, because things aren't going to line up right. 
and I was just getting so discouraged about the number of slanted ones and I was worried I was gonna run out of drills I did not so there's some more there's a lot in here unfortunately you can't really see it right off the bat but you know I was telling my friends that I was pretty discouraged about the slantedness of the squares I mean I've seen them occasionally in kits but nothing to this extent y'all I, I don't know what's happened but the quality of the drills has diminished I think recently I mean this is a premium kit right so um, I don't know what causes the slanting of the drills of squares I mean obviously with rounds it's not gonna matter you're not gonna get slanting as long as it's you know round you could get tabbing but and then some holes and stuff but you're not gonna get the slanting like you would with a square I mean it's just here's another one up here anyway that was discouraging discouraging for me while I was doing the uh, the painting here so just glad I didn't run out of drills and um, happy that she turned out the way she did so y'all that's that's it I just wanted to show you this I'll try to do a pan over here at the end not I mean a little slow one not a fast one so that you can see the whole canvas let me know if you have any questions um, please uh, subscribe like comment and uh, let me know if you've done this kit before um, I saw it done last year I believe and I bought this I want to say the end of last year like uh, November or December time frame so I've had it that long I guess I was saving it up for something special so yeah um, it is the end of September so this event is over but you know we have a lot more events coming up for the rest of the year and then for the next two years we're booked so let's see next month is October and that's uh, Sugar Skulls and Halloween that's going to be hosted by Yvonne at Shenanigans with the Bergs so any type of sugar skull Halloween canvas I'm sure will be okay with her just uh, let her know if you'd like to participate and I should add you to the list and then in November we have um, Hello Kitty hosted by Jack with Diamond Painting with Jack and then in December um, we have nothing going on because um, you should relax and uh, enjoy the time with your family during the holidays and uh, try to do a little catch up or rest or whatever you want to do so yeah um, thanks again for stopping by and I uh, hope to see you again next time y'all remember to paint unwind and relax have a good time and uh, see you later bye So So oh.